This session looks at the signal flow required to use Native Instruments Finger. I'm just going to demonstrate quickly how to affect a stereo mix with uh, some effects. So the first thing we do is create a new audio track um, on which we'll just put the you know whatever track we're working on, be that a stereo mix or a stem of some kind or whatever. So in this case, uh, I've got so look. Um, Just a short piece of music uh, for a library. Then the next thing we want to do is create a software instruments track. And we're going to need Native Instrument Reactor. And here then we will select Finger, which is here. I suppose it doesn't help working in 32 bit. It's just painful. Okay. So I'll just use this first little section. So the first thing to do is we've got finger set up. We need to get the audio over to a bus. So we'll send it out bus one. Then on bus one we will make sure that that's um, not going out at all to anywhere else. So no output. And then on finger we'll choose bus one as the input. And then by playing this piece of music, this will now play through uh, finger. <laughs> So we can then have a look at the kind of presets we've got in Finger and it opens up with Subtractive I think or something similar, probably Devastator possibly. Um, I'll keep it on this, it's irrelevant really, you can just choose whatever presets you want but what will happen now is we'll affect the whole mix because this audio uh, stereo file is being fed through the Finger plugin whatever MIDI information we give in here is going to affect this then and the um, our output if we can have a quick look at that the output is then going to reflect that treated signal but the great thing about using the finger in this way is that the effects you're putting in are basically in MIDI, so they're they're changeable. But I'll just demonstrate that in a second. So if we just play from where, if we just go from here, um, and I'll just play some of these bits. So we're literally just hitting keys on the keyboard, you know. Just you know, a couple of low pass or whatever. Let's just try this one. This is quite cool. record something. <laughs> There you 
you go. A bit of um, finger MIDI information right there, treating an audio file. Um, so, you know, we could go in here, obviously, and then just change the effects we've used. Um, so, obviously, you can't hear them because they're not um, audible as such. But we can move them around and then let's have a listen to this, what that might have done to the audio. <laughs> So yeah, that was obviously a lose it instead of a, God knows what that was in the first place, but just a loop or position jitter.